Okay, so this is a quick video I'm doing on a React Hooks with Ionic Framework. It'll be a two-part video. Part one is going to just walk through creating this project that was posted on the Ionic blog. And then part two, I will integrate a Firebase hook that I wrote myself to upload the image from the camera plugin that's used in the uh, Firebase, I mean in the Ionic blog. Um, I'm going to start out with the default React app that you get from the Ionic CLI. Just going to kind of go through this quickly because it's pretty straightforward. All right, once you get inside the default app, we gotta, we're going to do a little bit of cleanup here. Let me get the server going so that um, as the app's running, oh, geez, as I'm making changes, you can see them in real time. Once again, feel free to check out the blog post on Ionic's website because that's really what I'm walking through. I just know some people like video content better than reading. All right, let me get my environment set up properly. Make sure everything's straight for you guys to be able to follow along. And let's start changing some code. All right, so let's get rid of this junk because we don't need any of this here. But um, you notice that all these pages are kind of laid out the exact same way. You'll be doing a lot of cutting and pasting to get all these uh, elements in here to set up the title of the page. But right now I'm just setting up uh, the buttons. We're gonna have a button in the top corner that you are going to click to make the camera show up. It's really amazing how uh, the framework has um, the I I Ionic icons, I always say that wrong, available to you. So we're gonna have a button with the camera in there. It's gonna be up in the uh, toolbar on the page and we're gonna connect an event to that so when you click on the button, um, we will get it to fire the, off the plugin and access the camera. Um, we're going to put the button on the far left right, so we're using the slot end on the ion buttons, and that should uh, get us going. I apologize, I'm not really a keyboard jockey, so I'll be uh, using the menu a lot to format my code. Okay. Excuse me. So, um, a little bit of problem with naming these uh, naming these properties correctly, but it's pretty cool that you have the uh, IntelliSense from the TypeScript that we're using React to help get all that right. Hmm, what mistake? Yeah, I didn't have it placed properly for the button to render, but I think uh, we got it in the right place right now. Yep, looks like we have our button showing up in a corner. Now let's add my on click event. And the on click event is, as I said, what we're going to use to trigger firing off the camera, which we'll um, install that um, React hook in a minute here. So let's just get the uh, function set up. As you can see, we're using a functional components here. Uh, that's really all you can only use hooks inside of functional components. So you're going to see a lot of that here. Now here, here we go. As I said, I'm referencing the Ionic blog post. Um, you, so uh, here we go. We're getting the cameras. Excuse me. We're going to in. Wow, looks like we're jumping ahead. We're going to integrate um, capacitor. To get capacitor going in here. Um, it's an alternative to Cordova that we can use inside of our products uh, from Ionic. So let's install that. I fast forwarded through a bunch of this for you all to save you some time. All right, next up, we are going to actually import the hook that we need to use. These hooks need to be imported. I mean, these, uh, excuse me, the hooks need to be imported inside the actual component. And then you'll call the use the use inside of the function. So you see here once again, I'm just really cutting and pasting the, the code directly from the blog post. But as I said, some people like to see things in video, so this is the route I went. And it'll also help when I do part two where I'm integrating my own um when I'm integrating my own uh, plugin. I'll say okay, so now we got the um the use camera hook integrated and we're going to use two things on that. We're going to use a function called get photo and then um, we're also going to use the uh, the photo object that gets returned. All right. Uh, once again, because it's TypeScript, uh, we need to load in um, some types from capacitor core for the plugin. And so we're using the camera result type as one that's what, that we're loading in to kind of get rid of our squiggly lines. Next is we're adding um, PWA support. So this application should be able to run in the browser and also run on device. So there's some changes that we need to make the app to the app, sorry, to app 
.tsx um, to get those custom elements. And then we need to kind of load them onto a window object here. And that, that should get us going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show both um, native and, and um, in the browser here. We, here we see in the browser using the plugin. I'm a happy guy here, I'm working away on this. But uh, that seems to work properly. Um, let's try to print some output here so we can see the data that we're getting back. So as I said, the photo object has the results in it. So after I take my picture and I save it, we're just dumping the results. Uh, in this example right now, I'm getting the data back as a data URL, but then you also see we can get it back as a web path too. Um, now I'm gonna, I think we're gonna, let's try to clean this up a little bit and use some of the other components that we get from Ionic to uh, try to render the image that we're getting back so that we can see that something really is happening here and we're not just getting raw data back. So we're going to use the, uh, excuse me, non card component. Once again, you got to load these, um, these tools that help you automatically import things. It, uh, it'll save you a lot of switching back and forth between um, your code and the documentation. So here we're just going to use a simple image tag. We're going to take the results that we get back on the photo object and we're going to load them up in the image. You can do this with either the data URL or the web path that you get back. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm saying if I got the data URL or if I have the web path, take whichever one I got and load it in. Okay, so let's see what we get now. We are going to take another happy picture and we get the image rendered. So that looks, oh, let's try it with the, looks like we're gonna try with the data URL too. Take another photo. And we get pretty much the same result. Okay, now for the fun. Let's um, load up capacitor here. Um, so we can see how we can get this application running on a uh, mobile device. Um, yeah, I trimmed some of that out of there for you. But we are loading up the iOS dependencies. I apologize to all you Android users out there. I'm just using iOS right now. It's the device that I have to record these videos on. Um, we're using NPX cap. Open iOS, which should launch, excuse me, which should launch Xcode for you. And then um, we'll hop over into Xcode to kind of get this thing running the very first time. Sometimes what happens is the, um, the provisioning profile and things aren't set up properly. So you gotta hop in there to switch it. But I think I might've already done it for this example. So it should just work fine. Yep, it looks like we have um, the app running. So, my icon's a little tiny, but let's see if it works. Since I am on the simulator, it's not gonna actually take a photo. We're just gonna get access to the uh, photo album. Um, we'll take a picture from the photo album and we'll load it up in there. Also remember, this is just the first part. The next part, we're gonna take this photo that we're loading up here, and um, we're gonna use another React hook from Firebase to show how to load the image up to Firebase. Um, this pretty much kind of wraps it up. As you see, I got my image, get a little bit more data on the phone here, but that's what we got. So please uh, stick around for the next video. Um, and I also have a blog post which will show, actually I currently have a blog post that shows the um, React hook, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through that in a video also. Um, if you like this, please subscribe to the channel. If you have some input on other things you'd like to see, please leave a comment. And uh, make sure you come back for the second part of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.